Hi, my name is Mohammed Afzal. Today I'm going to show you how to configure iSCSI target in Windows 2008 server and how to use that target uh, by configuring iSCSI software initiator in VMware. So let's start. Uh, this is the uh, vCenter environment and you can see I have one host added to it. This is the basic networking which you can see. I'm going to create an iSCSI VM kernel uh, port here. You can either create this port in this vSwitch 0 or you can uh, create a separate switch. I'm going to create a separate switch uh, here uh, by clicking Add Networking. Selecting one physical VM NIC 4 for my standard switch. Giving this add as this, giving my VLAN 49, hit next, and finish. And now I'm going to create a VM kernel port for this vSwitch. So properties, add VM kernel. I'm going to give it a name VM kernel dash iSCSI and a VLAN 49. Leave all, is, all of these three options if you're configuring iSCSI. And I'm giving an IP address based on my networking 10.122.0.0.0. Uh, one more thing before we conclude the vSwitch and iSCSI net VM kernel setting, change the MTU for vSwitch and iSCSI. So at the vSwitch, edit, change it to 9000. And also change the MTU for VM kernel port. 9000. Okay, close. So now you have configured vSwitch 1 with the VM kernel iSCSI port and you specified the IP address. And now you have to set up iSCSI target. Uh, for iSCSI target, I have Windows 2008 running in my environment. Uh, here it is. Uh, if you have iSCSI target uh, already installed in it, then you can see that Microsoft iSCSI software target. Initiator is installed by default. If you don't have the iSCSI target, you can visit Microsoft Download Center and you can download this Microsoft iSCSI software target 3.3 and install it uh, in your Windows 2008 R2 server. Once you install it, you have this uh, Microsoft iSCSI software available. Now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to set up a device by right-clicking on it, create a virtual disk. I have set up a very small virtual disk for this test. Browse. E drive. I'm going to give it a name as disk one dot vhd. You can see the sample here. How you can name it? You can give any name you want. Click next. This is a very small disk, and I'm going to allocate all of them for this virtual disk. The size should be in megabytes. So I'm going to give 2,000. Any description you want to give, or you can leave it blank. Now it's asking for iSCSI target. We haven't set up the iSCSI target yet. We are going to set it up next. 
So let's set up iSCSI target. Create an iSCSI target. Give it an iSCSI target name. I'm going to give it VMware iSCSI. You can give any description or you can leave it blank. It's up to you. Hit next. Now it's asking for iSCSI initiator IQN. Here you can give the iSCSI initiator IQN identifier by going into your host storage adapter. This is iSCSI software adapter. If you don't have the iSCSI software adapter, you can click the link add to add the iSCSI software adapter. I already have it. So once you add it, you will see the IQN number for that adapter. You can also see it in, in the summary, in the detail part of it. So this is the IQN number. You can type it in here. Or you can type the IP address by clicking the advanced. Hit add IP address. Here you have to type the IP address of the VM kernel port that you have created in the beginning. You can go and check it out. Networking and the port 10.122.49.95. Okay. Okay. Next. Finish. So after configuring the iSCSI target, you have to go to the devices and right click on the device and assign that target to that device. Okay. So this concludes the iSCSI target configuration in Windows 2008 server. And we have also assigned a device to point to iSCSI target. So let's go back to our vSphere environment and do the rest of the configuration. We already set up the vSwitch. Uh, we set up iSCSI v kernel, uh, VM kernel port. Now we have to set up the iSCSI initiator. So let's go to the storage adapter. We have this software iSCSI, iSCSI software adapter. We are going to configure this. Right now there is no devices attached, zero path. Let's go to the properties and go to network configuration add the VM kernel port that we have created for iSCSI. Hit OK. The port is added. Now the dynamic discovery, go to that. Here you have to give the iSCSI server location at send target server. So that's the iSCSI target server, uh, which is our Windows 2008. So the IP address of our Windows 2008 server or iSCSI target server uh, is 10. dot 223 10.122 let's verify the IP address Ten dot one twenty two dot forty nine dot ninety six properties network configuration we already did that dynamic discovery add ten dot one twenty two dot forty nine dot ninety six 
This is the port 3260. Make sure that this port is open in your firewall settings. Hit OK. So the iSCSI server location has been found. Go to the static discovery. You can see that it also pulled the target name, the IQN number. So everything looks good. And now hit close. After you hit close, it asks you to rescan the host bus adapter to see if it can find any devices and paths. So let's rescan it. Yes. So it did found one device in one path which was zero before. As you can see, the target has been found. Let's go and add the storage. See if we can add this storage right away. Disk and LUNs. Now you can see Microsoft Disk is here with the IQN and the size of 2 gig. This is what we had. Select this. Hit next. VMS5. Next. Next. You give a name, you can give it any name as Windows iSCSI target the data store. Maximum available space with connection. There we go. We got another data store added into our ESXi host. And this data store is an iSCSI data store that we have just configured using Windows 2008 server iSCSI target and con configuring our software iSCSI initiator. That's all. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye bye.